Welcome back, Survivors! I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to a few surprise episodes of Carnivore's Triplex Modder's Engine Edition. Now, the uh, uh, last release has been up for a while for this. However, I was having some problems getting it working, and the Modder's Edition engine is kind of weird right now in a few different ways. Like, the Jurassic Park Hunter Legends Special Edition 1, there is still the issue where it will only run for 5 minutes and crash. Carnivore's Triplex, however, it does and shouldn't work, per se. Like, normally how the Mars Edition engine is built, it's all coded around the 3DFX Glide setting. If I try to use 3DFX Glide Carnivore's Triplex Modders Engine Edition, it does not even boot up to a hunt. But it works on three, Direct 3D is the set. So I don't understand how I can explain that, that it actually works. Right now, it's just, because it is a community-coded project in that, it's a little quirky, to put it lightly, so I didn't think I'd actually be able to cover Carnivore's Triplex Mars Engine Edition, but apparently it works for this mod. So we're going to hop in for just a couple of episodes or so, show off what's in here. I'm actually probably not even going to take anything else really on the roster, because we have some stuff to try just getting our hands on in the mod itself. But yeah, I figure do this week just showing this off a little bit because I don't even know how stable it'll be as I play. It seemed to surpass that five minute time limit I had on the special edition, but with how nice and good Carnivore's Triplex has been up to this point, I did want to go in and show off more of it. And something that is pretty unique is actually if you look here for some of the like prepared animals from our engine edition, the icons show both the base version and a variant you might come across of them in the mods, which is really cool to have. The Stegosaurus and the Allure Titan, I think, are the only two that have that so far. But perhaps as more development goes on, there will be further additions and changes to it. But just thought I'd show that offering forward to you guys to let you know as, like, that's a thing for the Mars Engine Edition. And we should be good to hop in. So, everything's looking good. Yeah, we are good just to hop right in and see how things go, so... It's going to be just a little rough for these episodes, maybe, but let's just hop in and see how we go, shall we? Okay, so we're dropped in here now. Just one? Just want to try to get my bearings a little bit. I... D um, okay, that was just Mega Nap Surus. And... Something interesting is a lot of the variations between, like, the, uh, versions that have been released. Like, in the Mars Edition engine here, I think the snakes... Okay, everything's making them quite... A... Oh, jeez. Well, these guys... I think there's a few more updated textures on some of the animals, as well as things like the crosshairs are... removed from the weapons. As well as, I'm pr fairly sure there are a few aggressive ambient animals. I think a new commenter, British bloke, made mention in a number of videos that they were encountering a few of them. But yeah, the Mars Edition engine is a lot more... I guess I should say kind of like crisp and cleaner looking. Like, I wanted to try to show it off, but because of the special edition problems I had for JPHL, I didn't really think I'd be able to... There we go. Get that down. Oh. Okay, spas, please. And now you're Ramus. And this is another one. Uh, I'm trying to see. It is a little bit rough running right now, I think. I'm not sure what I could do to adjust that. See, that's the thing is... Because it is an in-development mod, I'm not sure how much is... Oh, actually, it looks like... For whatever reason now, it's running a bit smoother. So something specific seemed to have tanked the frame rate a little bit. Might have actually been the little uh, information plaque that came up. But yeah, Alioramus, it has some other variations to look at, like, in the hunts as well, so... It might just be that the menu pictures aren't quite up to date to show off all the different versions or possible variations you'll come across on hunts. You know what, I'm just going to pop that and reload. 
Yeah, there we go, just be a little smart. And we'll try to get something else hunted and see if it is like the, uh... If it was the little info plaque that tanked the frame rate for a little bit there or not. I have had other comments like thinking it's the operating system causing issue. I don't think it's that. I think it honestly, uh, some performs and that can come down. God, that sounded right beside me, I thought. I think it can come down a lot to just that, like the age of uh, the game and engine really is a little bit more difficult for modern hardware to like do properly or the opposite. There are some issues that the engine has trying to be run on modern hardware, so that's more where I think there's problems that kind of came up here or there. Another series I had done recently also had a few frame rate problems, but that one I've had, it's been a bit weird for a while. I was going to start into uh, Carnivore's Divergent for the new series, just because when I did put out the... Okay, it's just these guys so far. I was, wasn't sure what to expect with all the sounds, but. Ah, uh, when I put out the little uh, community post just asking for suggestions, like of the first five that came in, three of them all had Carnivore's Divergent listed in them. So, taking a look at some of the suggestions, I feel like Divergent is probably the best one that's going to be a little bit of a nice mix-up to tackle. Like, Carnivore's New World got suggested as well, but I feel like that one is a little bit more, or too dated for what I'd like to try to... Oh, actually, the Fabrosaurus, I think, are a new one. I don't know if they're actually, like, a hostile ambience or just a general ambience, though. I'll have to maybe try getting one and see. And then, yeah, because it is Mars Edition Engine, Crouch doesn't really function like it should, or used to. Okay, seems like all that did, though, was scare those two off. So maybe they aren't a hostile ambient. Maybe they are just, like, a herbivorous ambient on the map. I wasn't sure. I mean, looking even at this view, well, it is because the resolution is a bit different than it's... Uh-oh. Spass, please. Thank you. It is the trophy plaque. Like, now when I try looking around, it's a lot more jerky and choppy. I think as soon as that goes away... And then that's another thing, too, is this trophy plaque is nice, clean, easy to read. But the uh, Dress Park Hunter Legend Special Edition text... Yeah, see? Smooth again. For the Special Edition, when that comes up, all the text has, like, this second overlay, and it's really kind of impossible to read a lot of it. So, I think right now, a lot of it is just because Mars Edition Engine is still being a bit figured out. There's going to be some things to just slowly work out the quirks, figure out what the best approaches are. It's in development, so expect some some instability to it. That's two Alioramus and a Vectosaurus, so I'm kind of hoping to find something else a bit unique, because there are some other ambient animals... That we can come across. I spotted them while I was doing some play testing just to make sure like the mod does run and everything. Actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if that was one of the problems I was having with uh the other version, like the non-Mars Edition Engine version of Triplex 2. Because one of the episodes did have a few places where the frame rate tanked and it was a little more difficult to do, or the recording didn't quite pan out as well as I thought it did. It might have been because of, again, just that issue with the trophy plaque that comes up. 
that's, again, it's just hard to say. It's one of the issues that does come with recording such an old game or old engine. Is that there can be a lot of instability. Even, like, how recording tries to work, it has problems with a lot of noise of, like, too many pixels being the same colors. It can't really differentiate them that well. It is why I've kind of wished that we could get a more modern carnivores game, just so that way it operates a bit smoother and it's a lot easier to see everything in it. Like, I don't know if... Oh, hang on, we got something over there. Oh, there's a Fabrosaurus. Now, I don't think these guys were actually in the... Ah, uh, footsteps still have a little bit of that odd, like, double play to them. Okay, no, they are on absolutely no point ambient animal. Okay. But we'll still walk up and take a look at it. Because I think the only animals that were in the other one were Drysaurus, Meganaphosaurus, and the Snake Lizard. It has a proper name, I just can't recall it off the top of my head right now. Yes, yeah, so here's another guy just for the Modders Edition engine. And again, they carry over the nice style of uh, what Triplex has to offer. Just like the banding down along the back, a bit of counter shading to- Oh, hi. What are you doing up there? That's right, you get walked back down towards the water. We don't need sauropods deciding to become mountain goats. Oh my god, could you imagine this? I kind of wonder if somebody could do a ragdoll of just like a big sauropod flopping down a hill now. Just like seeing that on the side of it. Actually, I should be careful because I don't know if those guys will actually like... Uh, get aggressive if you like take a gunshot too close to them. It might be possible. Tatradophis, that's the snake lizard. I just saw one sneaking up over there so I feared I'd... Take a look and try to pronounce that right. Actually, you guys, you're roaming quite a ways from the water. You know, I'm actually not sure if we've had... I mean, the special edition did have the Super Saurus, I think, in uh, the abandoned InGen facility. But I don't think we've had, like, really large sauropods. Oh. I mean, okay, if you just want to be right there, sure. Oh. Oh, no, he's going and running off. Uh-oh, another Aliorama is coming in. There we go. Yeah, the Spas 12 is going to be your best friend for uh, the game. And it does feel a little choppier, so... We'll just try to wait, see once the trophy plaque goes away, and if it gets a little smoother looking around. Jeez. It, okay, it instantly does. But there's also a lot of sounds going on all of a sudden. Okay, another big guy there. Where are we actually? Okay, we're not actually not too bad location-wise, just like out in the middle of nowhere. I'm just going to keep hiking around, see what else we can find for a few more minutes before we'll head out. But it's interesting that we're coming across or seeing the Mars Edition engine and like... Again, just things that I did not think would work are working. It usually has to rely on the 3DFX Glide, but this one actually runs rather fine with Direct 3D. Jeez, you guys are kind of annoying to have when I'm trying to be, like, cautious. This every sound kind of gets you a little on edge. Oh yeah, the Direct 3D works on it. I can't adjust the screen resolution in the, like, in a hunt anymore, so I'm probably going to have to resize the gameplay footage. The special edition, I was somehow able to actually run at the 1600 by 1200, so I could fit that onto, uh... 
I didn't have to really scale that to fit the better, like, screen fill. Oh, hey, little guy. Oh, that's just you making those footsteps. I almost was getting prepared to blast Yeah, sorry. But yeah, the Jurassic Park Hunter Legends Special Edition... Other people have been starting to report on the uh, Carnivore's community Discord. They've been running into the same issue I had, where it runs, then about the five-minute mark, or a little bit before the five-minute mark, there's like a little stop in the audio, and it resumes, and then there's a complete crash a second later. So it's something not limited to, like, my own computer. Other people have been running into it as well. I don't think there's been a resolution to it yet, but just to pass along that if you guys do run into that as it's happening, no, you're not alone, and it's not an isolated incident. I know it's a little bit of the misery loves company, but it can kind of help you know, okay, it's nothing wrong with my computer, or something happened, and now I, I can't run it, and I don't know how to fix it. It's that there's not really a fix I know of at the moment to help you guys with either, so we're all in the boat together. We're sinking down with the ship. No? Oh no, just a Vectosaurus. Wait, is there one over there? That's a Dryosaur. Oh, there you are. I mean, I don't really need any more of those guys. I've just been wandering around because there should have been... I think another couple of ambient animals that we could come across. We'll see next episode, maybe if we can come across them and... or not. Maybe I'll just save the last episode for high-density observer mode. And we'll just go around for a hike and see what we can spot. But yeah, as soon as we get a... So Uh-oh. Oh, another Aluramus, but this one... Okay. And you know what? Just... Um, actually, you know what? I think we'll end things here, but yeah. It's the trophy plaque when it comes up seems to cause our graphics issues. So we'll go take a look at the trophy room now. Okay, here we are in the trophy room, and I want to see, if the plaque comes up, does it suddenly get... Yeah, see, it does get a little more choppy, so maybe that's one of the trade-offs for this. Like, it might be legible, and you can read out what it says there in the little plaque, but as long as it's up, it seems to take a little bit more processing power, perhaps, and it causes the game to run a little bit more rough. Whereas without, it seems fine. And then, uh, we didn't quite get these guys side-by-side side for a... Uh, Super good comparison, but we at least got to see a variant pair of the Aliramis. This is the one we're very familiar with from the uh, non-Mars engine edition. So, yeah, just a little hiccup there because of the uh, plaque that came up. Some counter shading to it, a little... Uh, not quite the stripe banding, but a little bit darker back. Kind of a copperish underside. And then this guy over here... Decided to go more red than dark for his coloring, so it's... Oh. So as you saw, the Mars Edition engine version might not be the most stable depending on what you do with it. So like, the trophy room, it sort of can be stable, but then crashes again at times. I'm not really sure how to describe it. So that's why I wasn't sure if I would do some videos with it. But as long as we can actually go into a few hunts, I am going to do just this week of Triplex before we'll start Divergent. Show off a little bit about Mars Edition Engine, and that way you guys can get an idea of it. I would probably suggest to play Carnivore's Triplex, the non-Mars Edition Engine currently, just because I can't really say for sure if you'll be able to get the Mars Edition one running. I had to actually have it set to the software setting it shouldn't be on, but to that lets it run. It's really strange. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. And until I see you in the next video, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.